Hey everyone, today we're going to create a spinning propeller effect which you can use for your footage or helicopter pictures or whatever to make them look a bit more realistic. This is what we're going for, which is this. As you can see it's just spinning on a green background. It's quite simple to do this effect and I'll show you where we can use it in an application in a minute. But first what you need to do is go to a new composition and do 1920 by 1080 make the composition about 15 seconds long and go OK. Now you've done that, click on layer, new, solid and make this background green and press enter and we'll call that one background just so we can keep track of it a bit easier. OK, now we're going to go layer, new, solid again but this time we're going to go black or close to black as we can get And what we want to do is you want to bring the sides in, like so, like this, just like that. We call that one Prop 1, so press, select it, press enter and just call it Prop 1. Okay, now we're going to do that again, we're going to go Layer New, sorry, Layer New Solid, do a black one again, exactly the same, and we're going to bring it in to around about the same. Now what we do different is hit the rotation tool up the top here and we just rotate that one. You can do this by eye as close as you can to make that look 90 degrees to the other one. Just like that. Perfect. Select that, press enter and call it prop 2. And what you need to do now is you need to render this out. So you render this out to um, to join, basically join these three files together. So do file, make movie. Select. I'm going to select QuickTime because that's the format I'd use it in. Um, I'll call it prop, and then just go render. Okay, so now we're back. You've got this loaded back into your footage. All you need to do is get it to rotate. So you, first of all you hit on the button next to your prop here and hit rotation. Now you have, once you hit that little stopwatch here, it puts a little point here. It's a starting point for your rotation. You scroll all the way to the end and change that to 100. And what that does, it gives you another point. And that's how many times it's going to spin in that 15 second period. At the moment that looks horrible because it's just doing this. But what happens is when you add in your motion blur, which is here and here, it'll start to look like this. Okay, so what we need to do is this. We need to turn the motion blur off like that. We need to keyframe it and save it as an alpha channel. Now how we do that at the moment it's just a green spinning thing. You go effect, sorry, select your layer, go effect, key light, or keying, key light, and select the green to remove it. So now there's no green there. You've got no background at all. Okay? At the moment you can't see what's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to just create a new solid and we're just going to make it white and put it behind it so we can see what we're doing. You won't actually use this file, it's just so you can see what you're doing. Okay, so there is your spinning footage without the green on it anymore. So what you need to do now is you select motion blur here, and you select motion blur for the whole composition here. So when you play it now, it looks like this. Okay. Now, <clears throat> that's pretty perfect. So you just turn off the eye on the white solid, so that background's no longer there, because you don't want that in your video and you go make movie select the lossless here sorry my fault yeah, sorry select lossless no you're wrong again select the arrow here and do lossless with alpha is what you want to click on so click on that and just call this one prop for my, for my thing is prop 2 
it's going to be an abbey and then you render that out now what that does is that renders your prop with a even though it looks black on the screen at the moment to your eye actually renders out a uh, a black screen so basically it makes the prop the only thing that's in the footage and everything else is transparent which means you can lay it over the top of other things okay once that's done once it renders out you can bring your footage back in and put it back down on top of your white solid here and there's your white solid so you turn your white solid back on you'll find that there's the video spinning right there okay but that video is independent of that footage as you can see it's transparent so it doesn't matter what you put it on what is behind it's going to look pretty cool so for instance if I bring in a picture of a helicopter that I've created or that I've traced around in Photoshop so just bring that in there it is there for instance won't worry about how the scale of it too much you put your prop I've, as you see I've keyed out the props so there's no props here I can put my rotor blades on top of this like so hit the 3D button on the side here like this use the rotation tool and we can rotate it to fit the helicopter you can also scale it up a bit because it's a bit small make it maybe 130% something like that and then when you press play it's doing this and the cool thing about that is you can use the exact same thing for the tail rotor here so you can get the same footage again load it back in put it on the oops still got the rotation tool move it over to your rotor tail your tail rotor over here sorry and then just drop the size of it down to say 25% you press play and your helicopter now has life it's not perfect it's not a 3d model but it'll do it a pinch if you need to uh, to do a video so that's how you create a, uh, a helicopter prop now if you want to see this helicopter particularly and the prop effect in action just click on the um, the link at the end of this video you'll see the video we used it in okay until next time thanks bye